My name is Carly and I currently attend the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor. Recovery is a long-term process. So I guess recovery is just a way of saying, you know, taking your medicine if you're an alcoholic or an addict or even eating disorder or whatever, whatever addiction you have. Um, Recovery means to me, recovery is, is the, the solution to um, all of my problems, which most of them are my own making today and were of my own making. Um, but yeah, I mean, the reality is I've been inflicted with the disease. I didn't ask for it, but it is, it's not my fault, but it is my responsibility. Once I grew aware of the fact that, wow, once I start, I really can't stop. Recovery for me is, it, it's essential. It's, like I said, it's a future. It's given me everything I have today. I think for the longest time I thought I was too young to be an alcoholic. I, actually, I definitely thought I was too young to be an alcoholic. I thought I was just in a phase and it would pass, but you know, it, it didn't. Um, I think that's something that keeps a lot of people out of recovery when they're young is you know, drinking on college campuses is, is literally as common as breathing. <laughs> and it can be easy to sort of like, um, it can get blurry in the line between do I have a problem or am I just exploring and maybe I do just, it is a phase. Um, if someone's struggling and the worst place in the world I ever was is when I knew I needed to get sober and I couldn't. Um, when I left treatment, I still thought I could do it on my own. And so I was just not drinking, but I didn't change any of the people, places, and things in my life. And it was, I literally was just beyond miserable. Um, so if you're in that place where you know you need to be sober, maybe you don't really want to be sober, you don't think it's fun, you think it's a death sentence instead of a life sentence, um, you know, just talk to someone who's in recovery, find a peer who's in recovery, and have them explain to you their experience. And that was what did it for me, is when I found people who were like-minded individuals, who were, who were young. And once I could relate instead of compare, I actually wanted sobriety. I wanted this thing. And until you want sobriety, so many people don't get it. Um, so whatever you can do to cultivate a desire to be sober, like some of the things I mentioned, that's what I would do. And just, just don't give up hope. And if you can get this as a young person, it's, you know, I live one day at a time and I'm grateful for every day and it is a chronic disease so it requires chronic treatment, but I, I mean, it's, it, it's the greatest thing in my life. And um, for what it's worth to anyone out there who might be watching this and, and um, you know, is in that place, just, just try, just give it a shot. And uh, I promise you won't be sorry.